guys hope you're having a great day today today is monday happy monday morning to you i hope that your day is going well if it is not then i hope and pray that by the end of this video you will be encouraged in some aspect in your life this morning i woke up and i was like all right i like to encourage lord i love to encourage i love to share and i'm like what can i do different today to make something just a little bit different video but still be motivating for people to watch and so I thought I was sitting there reading my scripture and I thought you know what what motivates me like what is motivating in my life I know um, like most of you know that I'm a Christian I live my life because of my relationship with Jesus Christ I have love inside of me I have peace in it. I have joy inside of me and it's all because I live my life for him I haven't done that my whole life didn't become a Christian until I was about 25 so I have lived the world ways I've loved, done that before and I found that my most success, my most contentness, my most happiness times in my life is when I truly sought after the Lord. And so I thought, how can I convey that in today's video to help you? Because what I have in my life, I want everybody to have. I want you to have peace all day long, no matter what's going on. I want you to have joy, even if you're sitting at home, taking care of 10 kids, not doing anything. And I say that lightly, you're not doing anything. Trust me, you are doing a whole lot according to the world standards. I want you to have such happiness, even if you gotta go face out in this world with all the crazies going on in the world, and you gotta go, you know, go into work, you gotta wear your coverings, you gotta have all these things on, and all these new rules, and you're just stressed out, and you just don't even know, you can't be with loved ones, you can't go visit, you can't go here. I want you to have that peace, and that joy, and that contentment, no matter what in your day. And so, this video today, I thought I would share some encouraging scripture throughout the video, and then talk about it while I'm going about cleaning, while I'm going about getting my day rolling. And so these are just good. Scripture is a good thing to memorize. Scripture is a good thing to get inside, to be encouraged by. I used to take little note cards and stick them to my kitchen window when I was younger. Um, and I would like, because I didn't have a lot of time to get up at five in the morning and sit at my desk and read for a long time because I had a bunch of kids and zero time for myself. And so I would tape little notes there and I would read that scripture over and over and over and over. And I got those words in my mind and I'm like, you're right. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. When everybody's screaming in the background and babies are crying and toddlers are doing this and there's just a mess and you're like, oh my goodness, I don't even want to do anything. I just want to call up on the couch and go to bed. And then I would read my scripture. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I can be encouraged by those words. And so that is what I'm going to share today in today's video. And you're going to get lots of cleaning and lots of picking up and a lot of moving and grooving and getting all that stuff too. But I want you to get the reason behind all that. It's like I don't just do that to make a cleaning video. I don't, trust me, I have other things better to do. No, this is part of my daily life. This is what I do. This is what I do every single Monday, regardless if I pull out a camera or not, I would still do it and I would do it happily. I would still do it with the joy that I have. I would still do it any other way. And so I want you to get the whole backbone of why I have that. So that's gonna be today's video. So I hope you enjoy. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna add, we went to a light show yesterday, which was really cool. It is Brooklyn's birthday this week. So happy birthday to Brooklyn Below. We're actually gonna take her out later to get her ear pierced. She's gonna get her second piercing on her ear. So we are gonna take her out later today. I'll bring you along with that. I asked her, I'm like, can we take it? She's like, oh yeah, I wanna get that filmed. And so we are gonna go, a lot of you, we went to a regular, like just Claire's or whatever. I think Lauren Brooklyn got hers at Walmart. Just the piercings. And a lot of you put in the comments to go to a tattoo piercing parlor. And I was like, what? And then some even said like an ear, nose, and throat doctor would do the piercings. And I'm like, I know. I mean, I knew they do piercings there, but I didn't really think much of it. And so they're like, yeah, because at least they're medically certified to do that. And I'm like, and they just have all the standards versus the person that's just punching it with a plastic, you know, ear thing. And I'm like, I had no idea. So we found a really great place. <laughs> well, Greg did. We both did. And so we are going to take Brooklyn in there today. And she's going to get her second piercing. And then we're going to take her out to dinner tonight, Greg and I, and I think she's going to take, she's going to take Autumn with her because Autumn, she went with Autumn to get her ears pierced. So Autumn's going to go with Brooklyn to get Brooklyn's second piercing. So we're going to do that later today. And then after I'll show you, we went to a Christmas light show last night. We usually go to the Shadrach's light show and we still will go there this year. That's a great one. We've always done it. Well, this year they had the Arboretum. It's called the Winter Lights at North Carolina Arboretum. And usually you can walk through it. We've never done the walkthrough because it was like 
$18 a person or something like that. And I was like, that was a lot of money for our whole family. So we've never done that one. Now they had a drive through one this year and it was like $25 for a car load. We did that last night and that was really, really fun. The kids had, I mean, like well worth your money. Sometimes you go and you're like, Ugh, that was definitely a waste of money, but this was a good light show. We got out of there. We gathered. I went to Craig's shop last night. I took my, you'll see on the table, I've got water jugs and I got hot cocoa cups and he has the Keurig and I have little hot cocoa Keurigs that I bought a long time ago at the discount store. And I'm like, I'm coming to your place to make hot cocoa. So we made hot cocoa. I did microwave popcorn. We had popcorn bags. And then we stopped at the dollar store and got some little, I know, Brooklyn picked out zebra cakes. And so we drove there and we had popcorn and hot cocoa and zebra cakes in the car. Kids had fun. We opened the back window. We got the little ones hanging out the back. And I'm like, <laughs> it was fun. It was a lot of fun and a really good light show. We even had a radio station. You know, normally they're all over the place and up and down, but this was a really good radio station. Just played continuous good Christian, Christian Christmas music to while we drove through. So it was a good good time. So I will share that later at the end of the video. Probably put the clips in at the end so you can enjoy some different little light show in case a lot of you can't get out and see that kind of stuff. And so we'll do another one probably in a couple weeks as well. So all right, I'm going to be done talking. I'm going to get going and we're going to get started with our day. You guys ready? All right, I'm going to start with putting my earbud in, getting my camera ready, sharing my scripture, and we're going to get going with our stuff. That sounds good to do. All right, let's get going with our day. Let's go. And how did I find my encouraging scripture today? Google. There's a whole Bible full of encouraging scripture, but all I did was Google encouraging Bible um, scripture. And the first one that opened up, I think it's Compassion UK actually. I just clicked it open because you can pick any of these. And so my first verse is going to be 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 11 and 12. And it says, For you know that we dealt with each of you as a father deals with his own children, encouraging, comforting, and urging you to live lives worthy of God, who calls you into his kingdom and glory. And I thought about that and I was like, okay, how is that encouraging? But I thought, you know, when God deals with us, he is our heavenly father. And sometimes when, you know, we, we get encouraged through, our, through going to church and being encouraged by our pastor, we get encouraged through friends, we get encouraged through scripture. And sometimes it's stressful, right? Like sometimes you don't want to change because then we have this thing called pride that doesn't want to let anything go. But we continually get that encouragement. And it's like we get that comfort. And sometimes we hear these words and we don't want to hear them because you're like, oh, that doesn't you ever go to church and your pastor's talking about, you know, your marital problems and he doesn't even know this, but he's speaking, God is speaking through him to you about your marital problems and what you need to change. And you're like, oh, I know I need to do these things, but I don't want to. But it's that constant encouragement. And the, the you know, the scripture and the, the, um, the words for what you need to change in your life. And sometimes we don't want to hear those things, but just as a loving father, some of you may not have grown up with a good father, but a loving father would come along and hear, here we go, here we go, this is what we're gonna do. Here's what you need to do in your life. Encourage you to do it. And sometimes we're like, ah, we don't want to do these things, but we realize that if we change and we do work on those things inside of us that need to be changed that we don't want to, it helps us work our lives out for good and then God can continue to bless us and use us because those issues have already been worked on. And so we want to live our lives worthy of God. Just to, not, none of us are worthy because God is perfect, but we can work and change things in our lives so that we can be a ref, direct reflection of him. So if you need that encouragement today, write that one down. First Thessalonians 2, 11 and 12. All right, let's start Clean up our kitchen. slept with this one last night and so there's two I think a lot of you got these earbuds they were like $22 I'm like how awesome is that so I was glad that you did but I used this one last night so it was kind of on the brink of dying so I just put this one in but I stuck it in this year I'm like it's sticking out why is it sticking out <laughs> it's all good 
So I'm gonna clean my sink out here. I don't use anything just to soap into my sink. A lot of you, everybody has, you know, the, the nice foaming cleansers that make it look good. I learned that foam sometimes just, it's just more for looks like dish soap, you know, like I think a lot of us know now that dish soaps, I mean, I don't even use natural dish soap, but having the suds doesn't make it cleaner. You know, it doesn't have to. I use the most vinegar in my cleaning when I use everything in the house. I still use chemicals like dish pods and dish soap. I'm not like anti chemical, but most of the stuff that I use is just vinegar and then I use a Norwex powder in my bathroom. So I just wipe it down real good. Do a good wipe on everything. If you just wipe your stuff down with water, you're good. Hot water is a good thing to clean. If you look at other countries and people that don't have access to, you know, bleach and all the 50,000 chemicals that we have at the grocery store, you can live a very healthy lifestyle and a clean one just by wiping things down with some hot water. I use my Norwex cloths here that have the microfiber that wipe, wipe everything off really good. So you're gonna do that. All right, the next scripture is Mark 10, 27. It says, Jesus looked at them and said, with man, this is impossible, but not with God. All things are possible with God. So maybe you've got some things in your life. Let's wash my sink. Come on, Maybe you've got some things in your life and you're like, it just doesn't even seem like a natural way. You don't know how you pay your bills. You don't know what you're gonna do tomorrow. Do you have anything going on this up? So the world, and you think, there's just absolutely no way that we can make this work. And if you look to man and you look to people around you to solve all of your issues of life, that is when you're gonna go wrong. You gotta put yourself to God and say, all right, this might look impossible to man, but with God, all things are possible. Oh yeah. And I'm definitely a testimony of that because I've seen what God has done in my life. When I stop giving up my control, and let him do what he needs to do. All right, done here. Alright, if you're just doing a quick clean today, like I'm just wiping my stuff down. I should have probably stressed that. This is just a quick wipe of everything. I'm not really deep cleaning anything. I've already done that before in previous weeks leading up to Christmas so that I don't have to like scrub this down. And after New Year, I need to take like these burners off and clean them, but they still work. I know he's lifting up my burners except myself. And so I'm like, I do need to clean that later, but I'm just gonna do a quick wipe of everything. That's what you do. Just do a quick wipe to make it clean. If you do it on a regular basis, it doesn't get so overwhelmed because there's not that much to pick up on normally. So my cleaning today will just take me probably a couple hours and that's going through my entire house. That's not that bad I'm just one person doing it. I will have, I'll have the kids do the other stuff, but for the most part, and, and if it was just way less kids, it wouldn't be this dirty. So as a mom of 10, we have seven at home. There's nine of us living here. We can do this all within a couple hours in the morning. So even before they wake up, I enjoy doing it. So. They're like, kitchen help. Well, yeah, they do help. Don't worry. They, they get their work in. My children are not lazy at all. <laughs> so, wiping this down. All right, we've got a new scripture, Philippians 1, 6. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. Do you ever feel sometimes in your walk with the Lord, like, you just, like, things start going wrong and you just, like, God, where are you? Are you even there? Is I'm like, I know you told me to do these things, and then you doubt and you start wavering, and then you have to go back to scripture. That's all about our walk of faith. That's all about our, like, all right, God already told me this, so you have to be confident and stick with it and push through. It talks a lot in the Bible about being like the, the rock that doesn't move because the oceans and the waters come to and fro, and they move, but that rock still stands firm. And that's what we have to be in our own world, in our own walk. It's called a walk of faith, a life of faith because we trust even when things of the world start coming and things start coming it seems like they're going to mess everything up and you're like i don't understand but lord i'm going to trust you so remember that if the lord says he's going to do something which he does in his word for you those that believe him and those that are called and those that do what he says trust that he will complete his mission in you and he's not going to leave you so i must start wiping
All right, I'm putting away the shoes here. <laughs> you always, a lot of people recommend getting a shoe rack. I really don't want to put one out here because I don't want shoes out here all the time, even though there is shoes out here on Mondays. Most of the time I tell kids to take their shoes, but we had church and then we um, went to the light show. So a lot of things are here. So I thought the next verse was really good. It says, it's Psalm 37, verses 23 and 24. The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall. For the Lord upholds him with his hand. So I love that because God will direct our steps and make them firm what we need to do. Now we as human beings, you know, we like to make our own decisions and we like to do our own path. Sometimes we might like not think we directly hear or we might mess up and just totally miss it and we might stumble, but God says, no, here, I'm not gonna let you fall. Let's get you back on this path and let's keep you going. It's kind of like when you have a new, like a one-year-old starting to walk, you know how they're, you're holding them up and they're, they're going and they're walking and you're like, oh, look it, they're going and going and then they start like going up to the side and you're like, oh, no, 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 and you grab them before they fall. The same thing God does to us and it's like getting them on that path and then they start walking and then when they start going, God is cheering us on just like we are cheering us. God, yes, you keep walking, keep going, yeah, and you're super excited. That's what God does for us. Isn't that kind of the same analogy there? Cheering us on, going, no, 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 you keep going, keep going, baby, you keep going, you stay on that path. We're gonna keep you going. So you may stumble a little bit, but God is real good to not let you fall and catch you to keep you going. So okay, let's keep going. We got our Christmas cards here as well, so I want to thank you guys for sending us Christmas cards. We got them up here on the wall here, so I'll show you just a few real quick. All right, we've got Seven Forest. She sent us a Christmas card. Thank you so much. Scott, Tiffany, Ethan, Sam, Emily, Ryan, and Nick, the Forest family. We've got Ho Ho Ho. We've got that from the, is that an H. Hentek family? Wishing you and your family a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. My Christmas looking like glitter on there. Aunt Benna, Aunt Benna, you sent a nice little card here too. I saved your letter and your little magnet. Thank you so much. Super sweet viewer here. We got some joy here from Lisa Mann. She's a subscriber. I've got a thanks here for Barbara Coyle. I got a thank you here. This was the little cards that we had from Catherine. Happy holidays. This is so good. And then we've got this one too, from the Essers. So cute, thank you so much. Autumn is my, my alarm's going up. Autumn is my Christmas card putter upper. So when she always gets the card, she's like, can I put them up on the wall? So we're gonna put them around here this year and get them up around here. So, all right, let's go back into the living room. The house is like super easy to clean up today. I'm like, there's not a lot of cleanup, which is great for a Monday. Do you love it when you get up? I mean, I've had Mondays where the house is like, bomb explosion going off, but today, it's very mild, so I'm excited for that. I got my essential oil diffuser going, putting some eucalyptus in the air. Always good to add some nice little breathing scent ability in the home and stuff we dealt with the sinuses last week, but feeling a whole lot better this week. So, all right, let's go clean up the living room. Not a bad cleanup in there. Good. I am loving the Fuji dehydrator. We did, um, and I know, like, once you start using it, you're like, okay, this is what I can dehydrate. And last year I did that. Well, this, we did those mini marshmallows. I did another batch of those, put those in the cupboard for Christmas. Then I did bigger marshmallows, dehydrated those. We're going to dip those in chocolate and sprinkles and package those up for Christmas. I think that's going to be a great gift. And the jerky, oh, Greg was loving the jerky. He's like, if I get more meat, will you make more jerky? And I said, sure, I will. So, I think when I head to the store this week, I'll grab some more. Hopefully they'll have that same cut of the beef and then we can make some more jerky. So, all right, now I can vacuum, put my little vacuums in place over here, turn them on and let them do their job. Got another package, I can show you this way. Another package, something in here that we're gonna do another giveaway this week. So, get a little Christmas gift in here for you. So keep watching this week. We'll do a giveaway, I'll open this up later this week and we'll have a little giveaway celebration. Okay, clean up my desk a little bit here. I moved over everything into my new planner. Okay, so I went through um, the big giant planner. I had a medium sized one in the beginning of last year. I got from TJ Maxx and then I saw the big giant one. I'm like, oh, I love the big giant one. I don't love the big giant one. I love a little one. I got this one at Staples and it is just 
a small little planner. Oh, talk about my stuff. A small planner, but simple. It's got the weeks on here. It's got the months on here. So I've just filled this in. There was a spot for December, so I just took everything off. I, I like the day, the weekly thing, so I know what I'm doing, like where it has like this. But for December, I'm like, okay, I kind of know what I have. So I filled in my December calendar on here and just filled in real, real small with words so I knew what I had to do, but got this, so I'm excited for this. This I'm loving for organization because it's small enough to go in my purse. I love these. I got this from my um, homeschool mom box swap. Is that if I can come back here? It is. I told it to stay over there. That is so funny. It knows it has to come back and do cleaning. Smart vacuum. So I got more of these. These were on Amazon for three fifty. I like these. Just simple. I can mark them up. I use, I've been using this a lot along with sticky notes, but this is for my writing off of what I have to do each day. So that's so funny. That vacuum. It knows. So this is my little stash over here. Just small. It'll fit in my purse. I like it. All right. Let's keep going. I gotta move this back. It's too loud. I got my Christmas tree on here. Okay, so how long do you guys keep your Christmas lights on for? So I started putting my tree on a timer and it shuts off every night about nine o'clock just so that I figured there's only 18 days till Christmas. I'm looking at the chart over here that the kids put. I think it's 18 days, maybe 17 now. 17 days for us till Christmas. So I thought, you know what? Just embrace the high electric bill and just keep the lights on. So I like to keep the lights on in the living room here during the day, I don't mind. And over there on the tree, just for the kids to see the magical Christmas tree because it's so magical. But after Christmas, we won't be having it on. It's just like having 10,000 lights on outside. We don't have a ton outside, but it'll make our electric bill go up maybe, I don't know, $40, $50. But to have it on for the kids, they love come out and see in the Christmas tree. So I leave those on. I'll shut this off sometimes during the day. Um, but in, in my kitchen, I just shut it off because I'm done in here. But we like to have those on just for the kids to see and have that wonderful, warm, cozy feeling of Christmas. So the house is picked up, which is awesome, all through here. We're gonna move on into our bathroom, which is good. I gotta change a battery out, but let's do another encouraging scripture. Does that sound good? All right, encouraging scripture. All right, this is a good one. Hebrews 10, 24 and 25. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. So it's so important to consider how do you spur one another? How do you spur and encourage one another? Do you do things and talk about love and good deeds? Do you encourage when your spouse is not being very good to you? Do you encourage and love even when you want to be anchored and spiteful back? And it talks about not giving up meeting together. I know a lot of you cannot. Church is kind of hard for some right now because of what's going on. But if you can get into a church with a body of believers, please do so. It's so important for your walk to encourage yourself, to be encouraged, be poured into by your pastor and his sermons, being encouraged by fellow believers like that are in your congregation. And so there's great online communities as well. Our church does an online community. You can be part of a lot of your viewers are part of that, which is pretty cool. So you can do that to be encouraged that way, but it's about being encouraged more and more. Because when you see things going on in life, Oh, it's so easy to just go, oh, our world's going to, I can't, say, can I say the word? I don't know. The world's going to a, a bad place right now. It's all falling apart. No, it's not falling apart. Our world, we know the end time is near. We know it's getting here closer and closer, right? But just like in the Bible days, it was bad things happening over and over and over again. So we want to be encouraged. We want to have that encouragement to go, okay, let's press on and keep going with what God has us do in our life. Going to change the battery. Going to go do my bathroom. Why is this a weird color in here? 
a green light right there. I don't know why it does that, but okay. Another scripture before I start cleaning my bathroom because Greg's still sleeping. I don't want to wake him up. It says Luke 12, 32. Do not be afraid, little flock, for your father has been pleased to give you the kingdom. Do not be afraid. Do not fear. Do you fear? It says, don't be afraid. That is the one thing like people say, well, it's easy. And, okay, I am doing what God is. But if you're fearing or you're afraid, God says not to do. So we want to not be afraid because God, it's his pleasure to give us things and to give him his kingdom and to bless us. So do not fear today. Do not, do not fear, do not, <laughs> do not fear today. All right, let's go clean my bathroom. All right, so now I'm going to, my vacuum is done doing the floor. I'm gonna do a good hand scrub on the floor. Like doing the mop is good and doing the vacuum is fine. Sometimes it misses obviously things in the tiny, tiny corners, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna take and fill out my bucket, just save an ice cream bucket. I'm gonna put some vinegar in there. That's what you can clean with. Vinegar, I'll add like a cup of vinegar. I'll put a cup of squirts of dish soap, like seven squirts, and I'm gonna put some essential oils in there. People talked about doing them without animals. Everybody's sleeping. I know just having a little diffuser here has like made the house smell really, really good. So I'm gonna put a few little things in here and then add hot water and then I'm gonna scrub my floor. So it's gonna be easy. All right, and ready for another encouragement? Your encouragement is Philippians 4, 7. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And that's something I think that's huge because people, will say, how can you be so peaceful when the world is so crazy? How can you have peace when that, you know, is going on in your family? And how can, you know, you just look like you don't care. It's not that you don't care, it's just that you have peace inside of you, that you're not spurred, it's about being that rock. Going back to those few verses before, being that rock no matter what, and people will not understand it, but that is what people are gonna see, and they're gonna go, oh, and you can say it's because of Christ Jesus because it guards your heart and your mind. It doesn't let your mind start wandering. It doesn't let your heart worry on anything. So remember that one, Philippians 4, 7. That's a good one, the peace of God. So important to have the peace of God. Okay, let's go clean up floors. Get some hot water here and clean our floors. Sing about 
All right, we're gonna get the floors all washed. That took like 20 minutes to hand wash my floors. Not bad, I have a lot of floors to wipe and I was moving the camera. So next verse is gonna be Deuteronomy 31.6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Here's another, do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He's talking about the Israelites here, but don't worry, you need to be strong and courageous in everything you do each day. If you're not strong and get in your word and learn your words, then the enemy can come in your mind and he can start messing with you because you don't know your scriptures to back it up and say, hey, no, the Bible says be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. I don't need to fear you, devil. That's what you do. So let's put some chairs down. All right, I'm in my bedroom now. Greg got off to work. I'm like, okay, time to finish in here. I just ran the vacuum in here. There is Legos everywhere. I love, I love that my boys like to sit in my room because I have a big bed with the TV right there and they can spread out their Legos everywhere. But there was like Legos all under my bed. I'm like, Ugh. so it's okay. Yes, you can have rolls, but I don't mind. So I'm gonna let the vacuum go. It'll like suck up a few and I might have to have listen for it to stop. But we got another scripture. Second Corinthians 5, 7 is for we live by faith and not by sight. And I think that is huge because that's like the whole eternal thing of like the existence of Christianity, it's right? We live by faith. We don't trust in what we see. It's like you can't go by what you see. That's that song, Waymaker, right? Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, by the doctors, my God, that's who you are. Even when I don't see it, you're working, you have to know and trust by faith because you're trusting God that even when you don't see it, He's working. If you want to feel it, he's working. That's the part of trusting in a person. I hope that by the end of this, you'll get an understanding that we are to trust him. Kind of let go of your own thing and say, all right, God, release that control and give it to him. All right, Betty, I'm going to take it off so I can wash it. my vacuums off right now because they are dirty we usually I've been doing about every two weeks when we just had one we were doing it every week it got really dirty but now that we have a couple few of them I'm only doing about every two weeks a really good clean every week we just dump them out so my verse is gonna be Romans 15 13 it's up there now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of of the Holy Spirit. It's about God of hope he's going to give you because you need to hope that what you're praying for and what you're asking and what he's telling you and believe and trust. That's what's going to give you that peace inside of you, right? And that's through the power of the Holy Spirit because that's what works inside of you. All right, let's clean some vacuums out. All right, so my day is going great. I'm getting a lot done. I'm just gonna fold these towels and set them here on my ottoman because we have a whole lot more to get washed. I feel like my neck is so crooked. Just get um, a lot more and then that way the kids can put them all away today. So real simple. cloth your microfiber ones once in a while they get like heavy like this one I'm like it just fit you can smell it 
it smell, it doesn't stink, it just has a smell. This does not have a smell. Not as bad, I can still feel it. So I'm gonna boil this in a hot boiling water and that will clean it out. myself a big giant toaster so I'm gonna make some toasted butter for breakfast those are gonna boil we're doing good picking up do you ever feel like Philippians is it 413 Ugh, I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me today I'm feeling like extra energetic I was kind of tired Last week, a lot's going on, but I feel like, okay, clean my car out. So I got all this trash out of there. We'll take it to the car wash and vacuum it out, but all the junk's out from yesterday, all the hot cocoa and popcorn and messes. Make sure I put the mask all back nice and neat or um, clean out my glove box, that kind of stuff. So I've got some cleaning wipes I need to put in there and then um, water bottles that we used last night. So let me go back in. All right, so we've been moving and grooving, moving and grooving, getting a whole lot done. So we're gonna have lunch now. So I'm having Madeline, we had freezer grilled cheese. We put them all together in a bag. I've had these in here for a few months, like a little while. Like this is dated September. So they've been in there for a few months. That's fine. Put it on the griddle and let it cook. And then I pulled out sausage, veggie soup. I'll just heat this up. This will be delicious lunch. All right, so I'm heating up some stuff here. So the grilled cheese is fine. It's, it's been like flung around in my bag. Like, look at it backwards. That's been backwards. So I just need to reposition it here. Look, some of the pieces got like the pieces being in the freezer. Actually, that's not bad. They look like one of the pieces had fallen off, but not like horribly terrible. So these are actually good. They're, that's a good way to use your bread. That way you don't have to take it out when it's all like freezery burn. Let's look at that one. That's kind of like, you know, it's been in there a little bit. But if you just cook it on the griddle, it'll be fine. And this one right here is going to be, this is that, um, it was the sausage soup, but I didn't use sausage. Remember, I used meatballs. I forgot that. So this is just heating up right here. I think i got to add liquid to it because it doesn't look like much liquid. I think that's what it is. Add some liquid to it. And then maybe some, like, cup of soup, chicken noodle, chicken noodle, like this stuff with uh, chicken broth. Easy. All right, grilled cheese in here. So they crisp a little bit on the outside, but um, the inside didn't, like, cook all the way through. I mean, just because... It like, you know, the griddle got hot. So I'm just putting the microwave to the camera and the record button's not on. So my grilled cheese, I just put it in the microwave here, um, the big pan of it. I just turned on for a minute because the middle is still like cold. Just the cheese was frozen from the freezer. So now it'll melt and be fine. So this is our soup is here. The um, meatball one. So it looks like this. This will be delicious. And for those that don't want the meatball one, here is some like cup of soup. You know, like there. That's made with chicken broth, garlic, pepper, and perfect. All right, this is gonna be an easy lunch. All right, bleached all these towels. These were looking pretty sad, and I was like, ugh, I was just gonna turn them into rags, but they actually bleached up pretty not bad. Like some are stained. These ones, they're gonna go in the rag pile, but not bad. I think these ones. They definitely stink. Definitely stink. Well, we tried. We tried. But that's okay. I'll put these in my rag drawer. They look a whole lot better, at least. These will go in the rag drawer, and then um, that's fine. Rag drawer. That's what we use them for. I tried bleaching. They got just got too many stains on them. Okay, I'm gathering fragments. I went in my refrigerator, and I was like, hmm, what am I gonna do for dinner and all that? I have a little bit of potato soup in here, so I just am adding that to my soup here on the stove. And that'll be fine. The one with the meatballs, something like that. I'll give it a little bit thicker. And I'm using the potatoes because there's no potatoes in that soup. So that's actually really good. That like thickens. Oh, that looks makes it look so much better. I will show you. Hold on. 
Let me show you. Look at that. Look at that. Use up those potatoes. Nice. Perfect. All right, soup is done. Yeah, gathering those fragments. All right, so here's a bowl of soup for lunch. Look at that. Delish. That's so good. All right, we're gonna take a break and eat. All right, Greg just came home, took a break for lunch. I am gonna get uh, dinner together. So I pulled out a freezer meal, a fried rice, beef fried rice, and I just heated it up to make sure it's all cooked here. I'm gonna fry some eggs in here, scramble them real quick, and then I have a container of cold rice. Add some rice and that mixture, and we got beef fried rice and a little sesame seed oil and soy sauce. Simple, easy dinner, no work whatsoever. I mean, a little bit of work, but not that much. To come outside check out outside it's supposed to be some snow I don't think here but they say in the higher elevations we're not that high compared to everybody else but well, Greg it definitely said it's getting chilly in the air here so all right so I came outside and I was like it is about two o'clock now so my day I didn't really film a whole lot from oh hey Ruby I know you love me oh Ruby go away go ahead she's like I just went to kiss you I guess I'll stand so Maybe I can sit, we'll see. So well, um, Greg came home, we had lunch, and then I just sat. The girls are wrapping presents for me. We decided not to go get um, Brooklyn's ears done today. We'll probably go tomorrow, which we'll bring you along for that. Don't worry about that. We'll definitely take you along for that, but the um, we're, we just decided to just stay home. So I'm like, okay. So I'm just, I did dinner, did the beef fried rice. That's easy for dinner. The kids are just chilling, relaxing. They're watching Leave it to Beaver. Steven, I love Leave it to Beaver. Steven likes Leave it to Beaver, so is Jensen, and now Maddie's turned on Leave it to Beaver, she loves it. So they are just chilling, watching that, just kind of playing, not doing a whole lot, and then um, Brooklyn and Autumn are wrapping Christmas gifts, so I'm like, that would be awesome, because we have to get those out of the closet, because there's no room, so I'm like, that will work out. So then I was thinking about it, and I'm like, okay, let me just keep going with life, I almost dropped my phone. And I found one more Bible verse for you for today, it's Galatians 6, 9, it says, let us not grow weary in well-doing, for in due time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up so there's a bunch of different so there's a bunch of different versions of how it's worded but basically just to keep moving keep going forward you know sometimes we feel like you know you might not feel the best like i know last week i didn't feel so great but it was just like okay keep going keep going do what i can do just do the little bit that i can get done and then you know what take my break rest there's nothing wrong with resting and then in time i'll reap my harvest so today i reap my harvest because i feel good today <laughs> rested I feel good it's like life's it's good today so it's definitely frozen I'm like I can feel that cold in the air out here so just remember just keep going keep going rest if you need to but just keep going don't get weary and well doing because you're doing what you're supposed to do if you get up and you're doing your jobs do what you're supposed to do for your life then just keep going do it as unto the Lord do it with a joy and a happiness because you can and you have been called to that position what you're doing in your life at your specific time right now and it's to be an impact in your family in your world in your job whatever it is that you're around so just keep going we're gonna keep going sound good yes so so this mom is gonna go I'm gonna go in work on today's video it's gonna take about two hours to edit and then um take it just chill tonight chill tonight we want to watch some uh leave it to beaver and then I got the great Rupert do you guys remember that one the great Rupert the squirrel that lives in the house and gives the poor people money remember that one <laughs> So I told Maddie, so we're gonna watch that one tonight. So we're gonna go watch some black and white movies today. Just have a chill, relaxed day. So I thank you guys for always watching. I'm gonna insert at the end here. I have to say goodbye. All the Christmas light show that we went and saw yesterday. I hope you enjoy it. Have a blessed, blessed day today. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right, we'll see you. Bye.
Look at them all in. Whoa! Oh, that's so cool. It's in, what's it called? Honey, we need those in the front yard. Look at that. Can I go buy Project some? Projection? Yeah, the projectors. That looks cool. Oh, look at the white one. Ooh, that's well, now it's rainbow. Oh, look how pretty that is. The light, this tall tree house got the light up out of the change of color. That's really pretty. I was gonna say, that's my favorite. Look at the bear family. This deer. Those are really neat. It's just the. Yeah, it does. Do it again, fireflies. Come on, fireflies. Oh, they're on both sides, too. Oh, look over there. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at how cool. Oh, they're all in here. Look at that, it's just more of the projector. That's cool. They look like fireflies. That looks neat. Look at the trees over here. It's laser in the car.